Uh, welcome to video two for the introduction to ArcGIS. Uh, please uh, be aware that there's the first assignment is to find a case study that used GIS. That's kind of like an article, and also to become a viewer. Now, be aware and thank you for the person that asked this question. The case study doesn't necessarily have a map, an online portal map that you can know more about that case study. It could be two different projects, okay? And some people ask about what's the difference between a case study versus a normal article. And a case study is more scientific, something that you can quantify and qualify. And again, from video one, you know that you're looking at our personal notes website. And here's everything we write every day of what we learn in our classroom and here are before you start getting into the software and downloading the software into your laptop and doing the tutorials I highly advise you to become a viewer to find an interesting site like all of these here that I have healthy cities SEMA city of LA that they have an online mapping serving that you can get a lot of information that is spatial and try to think and assimilate why do you need a spatial map to make decisions for the built environment and for the natural environment I recommend you to start playing with this GIS warehouse portal again for this all of this you do not need the software you are only a viewer so find a case study just read an article where they use GIS and find an online map where you do not need the software. Once you need the software, really quick as we went, um, as you download the software in your laptop or you use our computers here at school, uh, you're gonna do some tutorials, getting started and learning ArcGIS, then uh, you will be certified by S-Ray. But what I wanna focus right now is on the personal project. You guys are very lucky. I have developed through the ages and through the bond program and through trade tech workforce development a very interesting architecture system basically is a table of content that is organized in a very agile and flexible way to look at how education connects to the economy how it connects to the built environment and how it connects to the natural environment so the very first thing here to locate ourselves let's turn on the regulating lines and turn on our la county I'm going to uh, zoom out and I'm going to remove the Los Angeles County tracks and the Los Angeles County block groups. And I'm only going to leave the Los Angeles County streets. Turn it off or on. And you can turn on and off the county. So this is um, a map that we personalize for the use of the nine colleges. And it hasn't been updated, but it is a great organization to look at data, a dynamic map that any college or any university can use to act more agilely for workforce development and strategic planning. So another thing you can see here, you can look at all the zip codes. You can look, sometimes grants come with block groups, divisions, and you can use that look at land use. So now let's first look at all, these are education. Yeah, so when you look at education, education is very regulated. And you can look at people that are assisting to the community colleges. These are everything that are indicators. Core indicators, people that graduate. So let's look at all the people that complete an AAAS. So you gotta turn on education. And this will actually tell you, let's see all the completers, AAAS, BA, Masters of Architecture. Many times you got to refresh the screen. And here it tells you all the different um, one, two, four, five people that completed AA or AAS, uh, BA, Masters of Architecture. So these are um, educational indicators. Uh, people that get certification, certificates, again, you refresh it, and then that's actually broken down by, I think, zip codes, so the darker the color, the more students that got a certification, 128, 38 students to 250 in this area. You can uh, turn off the, uh, the streets, 
I like the streets because quickly you can see this is downtown LA, Harbor Freeway, Santa Monica Freeway, San Diego Freeway. But the beauty of having your own dynamic map is that you can turn on and off all this information. And the reason I'm showing this to you guys is that once you guys became a viewer and you play with an online portal, once you guys also finish your tutorials, I will uh, provide to you this data so you can actually make a study for Trade Tech and analyze multiple factors for our strategic planning so people can become more and more familiar the power of spatial information system or usually known as geographical information system. So now I'm gonna zoom in and let me show you other things here. So also here I have providers. So what are the educational providers we are gonna have here? Um, we have all our community colleges. So if we turn this on, you refresh it. We should have here all our community. Again, refresh it. That's Trade Tech, uh, Pierce College, Mission. And these are nine colleges. You can turn it on and off. And this is also can give you the boundaries. So these are basically all the people that vote for our Board of Trustees. This is the Los Angeles Community College District boundaries. You can turn it on and off. And then here I have it by college. If I can turn off the buffers for Trade Tech. And each college actually have its different buffers. Now, um, you're going to be able to play with all this information for your personal project and make some kind of analysis. I also have here, so, well, so if that is Trade Tech, we can actually um have here trade tech put them buffers let's look at three miles buffers five buffers let's refresh it and now let's look at uh, minimize these that's the beauty of this architecture this organized table of content you can zoom in and out now let's look at the economy and let's say that we want to know this is turn on all the dead demographics. This is from census block, all the income. Let's, let's see the family size. We wanna know the family size when we can actually zoom in into trade tech. So this will be able, you, you can imagine the thousands and thousands of maps that you can generate. Let's say that I wanna know the family size, the income, who's the old, uh, you know, housing owners versus renter. And these are gonna be the type of explorations that you're gonna get, be able to play with. Uh, as your personal project and we're going to have a gallery and exhibit for um, our community to see the power of these tools. So here I right now I put under demographics I put married with children uh, for some reason it's not updating it. Uh, there we go. So that shows you how many children, how many people are married with children. So if the darker the color like in this block group there's 1,239 people that are married and have children versus this area there's a lot of people that um, there's few fewer people here the lighter the color the less people there are on these blocks so you can see the multiple so now let's look at businesses you have all the industry clusters let's say construction we want to look at all the construction businesses we want to see look all of these are different business industry clusters you can right click and open the attribute table and here you can see that there are 14,000 businesses under the standard industry code for construction and that is um, notice that construction can be broken down into masonry carpentry plumbing all of that so if we can actually specify and say well i just want to focus on all the contractors that only focus on, uh, let's say, home contractors. So we're going to look at all the ones that are 15, 21, 18, because that's the specific industry cluster. And then we can also connect it to the number of employees they have. And then we could easily add a new record here, a new field, and we can see how many students from us they hire. So you have these, so all of this is actually some students, where do you get all this data? And these are different agencies, different departments and different nonprofit organizations have developed standards and the United States 
national intelligence have developed standards for government agencies to organize data in a way that can be interconnected and interdependent among multiple government agencies. And very last one, um, so you have the demographics. I just wanted to show you very quick also on their education providers. You can see how many students come to Trade Tech. So you can make, you can imagine all the different study. Each study is a student. And you can identify the student. You can also hyperlink, and you can hyperlink the student to his or her personal website. I'm going to do that with Eric. And then here you can, so let me turn off the environment, and then you can identify the student. And it can tell you, you know, this can be connected to a student information system. So probably you won't get the student data because of privacy issue, but you're going to get all this information about the natural environment, the built environment, educational indicators and provider, and the economy. And that you're going to make a study and analysis for Los Angeles Trade Tech and, um, and all the stakeholders around it. You know, you can even look at LAUSD. Let's look at all the different pathways who has a high school pathway and who doesn't have a pathway pathway and how close are they to trade tech and how could we help them so um, let me refresh here and here you have United Unified School District so this here is telling you all the ones that are planning so this is a high school that is planning to open approve no doesn't have one planning, pending. So let's look at an approved one. So if you look at an approved one, so these are all the approved pathways for LAUSD. Building intelligence with SEAL Academy. And again, on all these records, you can actually add records. We can see who is our contact, how many students do we have that come from there. And just like you can do it for businesses, you know, who's hiring our students, you can also do it as an outreach tool. And this is going to be your personal project. And um, I look forward for you guys to work very intensely. But let's first get certified on SRA, become a viewer, find a case study, and then you're going to get to make a workforce and strategic planning for LA Trade Tech and exhibit it at a gallery as a student learning outcome. Thank you. So welcome to winter 2014, Los Angeles Trade Technical College architecture program, real-time videos. I'm going to go over what we covered today, January 8th, 2014. So first of all, how do you get to my site where we write all the notes that you can see here every day? We write everything that we cover. So very simple, you're going to Google LATTC ARC. 341 and it's very important that you type Google sites because these are free sites and if I give you the address it will be too cumbersome so here's where you find it and make sure that you go over the entire syllabus and most important the course description is very intense it has a lot of knowledge and it's complex but hopefully as you go over all the class content and after these five weeks all this language becomes more familiar and accessible and make it yours. So this is how you actually um, go through the syllabus. Very important to collaborate, the rules of conduct, assignments, so on and so on. And um, basically how are going to be the student learning outcomes and how we're going to break it down. But in more detail, what I have here are under the notes. I'm going to become a publisher right now and go over what we have covered. So you're going to be submitting a labor log, a study log, every day of what you learn, listen, do, realize, or skills you develop. This labor log, study log, should represent 20 hours per week or seven per day. This habit will help you develop your skills or of documenting your progress and time management. In this class, we're going to have three learning outcomes. You're going to become a viewer. You're going to get a certification by S-Ray, and you're going to get a and you're going to develop a personal project, which is going to be a map for LATTC workforce 
and economic development. All right? So these are the three things you're going to be doing in the class, and I'm going to be covering those three things right now. I want you guys to always remember that in any project and any process, there's always three elements, uh, which is a scope, a time, and a budget. These are some of the concepts that we cover, you know, uh, users. So a user, let me go here, a user, oops, a user, which is a person manipulating a digital interface can be a viewer, doer, builder, and developer. So these are some of the software we cover. And this is uh, the first assignment, become familiar with the syllabus and become a viewer. And how do you become a viewer? These are multiple sites. Um, let me cut. These are multiple sites of how you can become a viewer. Department of Regional Planning, Navigate LA, City of Los Angeles, Assessor's Map. So all of these, you do not need the software. There's going to be a platform, a GIS platform, where you can generate maps according to different interests and goals. Most of these are government agencies that generate maps to facilitate information for the user. All right, I will recommend this is a, a basic uh, ArcGIS platform where you can generate maps. Again, for all of these, as a viewer, you do not need the software. And then the last thing, you guys can download the software for free for 60 days. And here's the site to download the software. This is as a contractor, as an architect, as an engineer. These are all maps that facilitate information for you guys to make decisions about the built environment. So that's, as I was saying, I was going to cover the three things. So that's as far as how do you become a viewer. And I'm thinking that you should spend 20 to 30 hours of becoming a viewer. Another way to become a viewer, uh, and I asked you guys this yesterday, you go to sray.com environmental system research in this environmental system research institute and look at this gis is going to affect and be used by every single industry right you can choose from here education natural resources any of these industries and then it will give you examples of how they're using gis to make decisions and to implement the life cycle of a building, a city, and how they're using this visualization. And they're also probably, some of these are gonna take you to case studies and even places for you to do some mapping in terms of climate change. So that's what I want you to spend 20 to 30 hours becoming a viewer. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to our notes. So this is S-Ray Industries. So you find uh, that's what, that's the first assignment to become a builder, become a viewer, be, find a case study that uses GIS to make decisions and manipulate a map as a viewer. Here are some links to help you find GIS case studies. Okay. So the second thing is how are you gonna be come certified on ESTRA, Environmental System Research Institute. Because we're part of the uh, Los Angeles Community College Foundation, and we purchased this software through the community colleges at the state level. You guys are going to get, you guys are very lucky, um, a code. And on this code, you're gonna be able to get tutorials online. Now for these tutorials, you do need the software. We have software in the other laboratory, maybe not this week, but for sure next week. But it's okay because you're working right now on your 
20, 30 hours of becoming a viewer where you do not need the software. But for these ones, you do need the software. We're going to start with getting started with GIS. It's one module. It's four hours, and it's for free. So if you have your laptop, you downloaded your machine, the soft, on your machine, the software. Usually, I multiply by three if you have zero experience. So it should take you 12 hours. And actually, you get to print. Once you finish these tutorials, you get to print. Now, during the semester, we're going to be doing these tutorials in the class. But you can start with this one. Getting started with GIS is for free. Now, another one, the second one, is called Learning. Okay, so it's not coming back. It's Learning ArcGIS. Maybe it's under my third one. Introduction, Layout, Overview, Real-Time GIS. So all of these, actually, you can get a certification and turning data into information. This is when you actually become a developing using ArcMap. This is also for free. That's another one, a good one for free. But I'm looking for one that actually is called Learning ArcGIS, and that costs $288. But you guys are very, very, very lucky because you will, guys will be getting uh, a code. So again, I will we'll be putting, let me just populate here and say that to become the bare minimum to pass this class, right? So once you become a viewer, then you need to become S-Ray certified. And this is called through virtual campus. So the bare minimum I want you to do is getting started, which is for free. And the one that I'm going to be giving you a code is called Learning Arc GIS. For this one, you need a code. That I will provide. Okay, so I'm going to put ahead. I haven't found it, but I'm sure, notice here, there's 96 results. So it's somewhere in here you find it, but I'm going to put the link here. And then what's the beauty of this is that um, during the semester, every day you should be ready to present to me. It's every day you need to give me an update of where you are as a viewer and as a person that is getting certified on S-Ray. Now I'm going to have some students that are going to do more than these two certifications. I'm going to have some students that do four or five. I have probably $3,000 worth of free codes for each of you guys, if you guys want to be ambitious. As you saw it here, there's many, uh, these are all the free ones, but there's some that cost even um, $300, $400, $500, there's some even I don't have access that are $1,000, okay? One, they have one here that is S-Ray and AutoCAD. Maybe Eric should work on that one too. And other ones I want to bring help a business connect GIS to an app. They also have it here. All right. So the last one and third, right? So you guys are going to become a viewer. That's number one, right? And then each of you guys will choose an agency and we'll choose a case study and you guys have to present it to class so that's the beauty of coming to school and then the second thing this is B you will become an S-Ray certified through virtual campus minimum two to get a, an A in this class and I will be providing the code and the third thing we're gonna do in this class is that you're gonna create a personal project where you're actually going to be we're going to have a gallery and exhibit, and we're going to be showing it to our president. Our president is very excited, and he's used GIS in the past, so he knows the power of the tool. So for this one, you're going to create a personal project. Now, not everybody has to do LA Trade Tech, Workforce and Economic Development Map of Urban Planning or study about LA Trade Tech, uh, about people that come to Trade Tech, businesses around Trade Tech, and I'm going to give you an example right here. You're going to get to play with this data once um, you guys finish your tutorials and once you show me that you are a viewer. Again, 
through your study log and labor log, you're going to show me every day. So what I have here, so now we're under the C. You became a viewer. You're going to become personal, uh, um, certified. And I have here ArcGIS. This is inside the software. And I'm going to be giving you all this data that I already spent many, many years developing. It's not updated. I'm hoping that we will be updating this database. I organize, this is called knowledge architecture. I organize it with the ecology, the environment, education, and the economy. I'm going to be going over these personalized maps that you guys are going to be utilizing to create your personal maps in video number two. Okay, so you become a viewer, you become certified, and your personal project will be that you create some maps for trade tech, which I'm going to make it on video two to make sure I can publish it right now on the web. Thank you for watching.